Welcome back, Swift Playgrounds fans. We are here on Round Up the Switches. Uh, so our challenge here is going to be to toggle the same number of switches as there are gyms collected. So it looks like if we run our code that the number of switches stay the same and the gyms will be randomly placed. Um, so we got to kind of look at this. We have two things to keep track of. So we have two variables. We have uh, gyms. So we're going to uh, get a gym counter. Uh, and we start with zero. And we also need to keep track of our switches. So we're going to need a switch counter. Capital C O U N T E R using camelback notation, setting them both to zero. Now, both of them are zero. So this is different than our previous one uh, here, where the number of switches uh, is predetermined right here. Okay? So we can't use the wild gym counter is less than switch counter here because they start off equal. There's other ways to kind of go about this where you count up for one and down for another, um, but that gets real complicated and a little bit iffy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll two while loops here, okay? Uh, our big deal is, is we want to collect all of the gems, but only some of the switches. So what I need to do is get Hopper to walk around and collect all the gems, go around collecting the gems, we're gonna go through our portal and then pop up on the switches, okay? So that'll be pretty simple, I think. We're gonna run a while loop and we need to figure out when the while loop is going to stop, okay? And our while loop is going to stop when he gets to the switches, okay? So I'm gonna say, all right, while Hopper is not on a closed switch. And that's what's gonna stop him. He'll go through and grab all the gems which we want and then he was on a closed switch, that's when I want him to stop thinking about gems and we're gonna switch over to switches, okay? So while he's on a closed switch, we're gonna move forward. And if we're on a gym, they're randomly placed, so we need to check if is on gym. We need to check all of them. So if is on gym, we're going to collect the gym and don't forget to count it. Gym counter plus equals one. We're incrementing our gym counter. Great. All right. And then the last thing is it looks like we'll only ever need to turn right. So we move forward counting gems. And then if Hopper is blocked, Hopper's going to want to turn right. Okay. I'm going to clean up my code a little bit and we're going to run and we're going to check out and see where Hopper ends up and if we've got this. So we speed this up a little bit, we keep going, we're there, and then bam, he stops. Now, let's take a look at that. He stops on a switch, so that's gonna change our order a little bit, okay? We want this next round of code to go while. Now we wanna compare our number of switches to our gems. So now while our switch counter is less than our gym counter, now we can compare the two because they're not equal. We couldn't do it at the beginning because the gym counter and the switch counter were both zero. So they were already equal. And we notice where Hopper is standing. Hopper's already on a switch. And that's not a problem to skip that unless we get eight gems. So we're gonna go ahead and start Hopper off checking for switches. So if is on closed switch, we're gonna to toggle the switch and count it. So toggle switch and then switch counter plus equals one, plus equals one. Okay, so that will get him to toggle that first switch. And then after that, we'll just have him move to the next one, move forward, 
And then if we need to, if blocked, turn right. All right, clean it up a little bit. So they're very similar. You could almost uh, even copy and paste our while loop here um, and then just change what's in our while loop and change them to switches and gems. Um, but we don't need to do all that. Uh, we would have to change our order with move forward. Um, you would just change uh, anything that says switches, uh, gems to switches and, and all that stuff. Anyway, super simple solution to this problem. But once again, um, we couldn't set them compared to like we did the last one uh, because they start off equal. All right, see you on the next one.